As you start creating your pages and launching them to the world, one of the important things is to be able to look at the analytics so that you can make better business decisions. If you have a sales page, for example, that's getting a lot of traffic, but it's not getting the conversions, then we can look and see whether or not our disconnect is in the wording or the way that you have it set up for them to convert. If your page is not even getting a lot of views, then it may be just that we need to do a little bit more in organic and inorganic advertising to be able to drive traffic to the page. So our analytics are very important from a business standpoint. From, from our pages, there's several avenues to be able to get an idea of um, our analytics and to review those. So one of them is from our page builder, standalone pages. For the standalone pages that you wanna look at, we go to the page itself. And once we click on the page on the main dashboard, as you scroll down, you'll be able to see your basic analytics. So you'll be able to see views and opt-ins and you'll be able to see your conversion rate. We can change these from the default seven days to 30 days, three months, six months, and a year. So that can give you a, a snapshot picture and then a bigger overview of how this page is performing. The other way that we can look at for this page is we can actually go over into our website analytics. And from here, we click on the page views analytics and this will give us an overview of the top performing pages, total page views, offers, and then it breaks it down it by date from views, unique views. Now there's a difference between views and unique views because unique is a unique IP address, whereas views, you can have one person who refreshes their page looks at another page and then comes back to it. So the views can be a bit deceiving, whereas unique views will give you the unique IP addresses on how many people have looked at your page. So that's some pretty important information. You can also export this information into a spreadsheet if you wanted to. Now the cool thing is, is that we can select specific landing pages and uh, add that here and you can choose up to five landing pages for your report. So this is a really great analytics. Now obviously this is my practice site or my sample site so we don't have any data here to really look at but it gives you the general idea of um, how to look at your analytics. Now this as well we can go up here to the last 30 days. We can do the last seven days, month, um, three months, six month year. Uh, you can actually do custom settings where you set uh, the date range and then that applies and then it'll bring that up for that particular time frame. So that is how we look at our page views from a standalone page. Now from our pipeline pages, however, we can actually go into our marketing and then click on the pipeline that you want to look at and then up here in the corner is the view stats. This is really handy because it look, gives you all of the pages in that particular pipeline in a overview of the pipeline itself. So if we're getting a lot of views on our registration page, but we're not getting to the sales page or the confirmation page, then we can do some tweaking and some adjusting. It's just really good information to help us to improve our registration to sales page, sales page to confirmation page. It'll also give you the, the conversion rate, your total revenue, and then the revenue per view. So this really helps you too with your ad um, estimates and seeing how any paid advertising is converting. And once you have those numbers, it really just helps with making your business decisions. And that's how we look at analytics on your pages.